So I literally just got here with the seat, you guys, and check this out. The all new 2022 electric cover is being unloaded as I just arrived. Oh my God, first impressions, I'm completely speechless. We're gonna unload this. We're gonna bring it inside the hangar so that you guys can see this. Sorry, I just had to recreate what GM's been doing all year. Zero to 60 in three seconds. Stock is something I never thought I would ever say in a Hummer. Elon's been strangely quiet on Twitter lately. <laughs> so right behind me, we have the all new 2022 Hummer, fully electric. It comes stock with a thousand horsepower, 11,500 foot pounds of torque. For reference, that is 10 times more than the Koenigsegg Agera. That is half the amount of torque of a freight train. And you can all get it with a starting price of $80,000. Back in the day, one might say you would drive a Hummer if you didn't really care much about the environment, but now you're driving a Hummer because you care about the environment. 2020 is a crazy year. GM is really dropping the mic. First with the C8, now with the fully EV Hummer. I can't wait to see what's next, but I wanna see what is in front of me now. And I'm gonna give you guys a full walk around and show you what this Hummer is all about. Right off the bat, just taking a look at styling, I love this front grille. I love the different cells for the different letters in the front. I also love that when you plug it in, you can actually see how charged it is based on the grille. You got some good tow hooks, which fun fact, back in the day, those are actually used to uh, transport Hummers by helicopter or plane for the army. I think just helicopter, don't quote me out that way. Next to this for size comparison, you guys can see that it is absolutely massive. And I promise you, like, I know I'm small, but I'm not that small. I mean, these are 35 inch tires. I know you guys are gonna be wondering about clearance stock from fender to floor. 41 inches. From factory, you have an option if you want to go with the 37 inch too. We talked about delivering this to my house, which I really want to do, but I have a very awkwardly small alleyway with a low hung roof. We got a little concerned about it, but sitting here, this thing is, it definitely feels like a Mars Rover. It has an E4 wheel drive system, all wheel steering, and it even comes with a six inch lift extraction system. So if you're off road and you want to get just a little bit more height to clear the clearance of a rock, let's say, under the belly of the car, you have the lift to be able to do that. On top of that, there's like 18 cameras on this. They even have the cameras underneath if you want to look to see exactly how much clearance you need in order to get over that rock. And a few of them are looking at the underbelly and get this, you can also clean those cameras without getting outside of the Hummer by using the windshield wipers. How insane is that? They really thought of everything. So you guys see this side step here. They offer an upgrade if you want some real sliders that will actually hold half the weight of the Hummer. If you look down there and got a shot up at it, you'd see a hand like this. Oh, there's thumbs up. Right there, you guys. <laughs> so it's always thumbs up. If the car's upside down, it's thumbs down. Can I off-road this? <laughs> They're shaking their heads now. You guys, I love GM so much. Like, you know how much I love the C8, but like the mode to go zero to 60 in three seconds is called Watts to Freedom. Guess what that acronym is? What the f All right, let me show you guys more. Sorry to know a lot of you guys at home are thinking like, you know, it's a huge missed opportunity not to go Duramax on the new Hummer, but you guys got to give credit where credit's due. This is disruptive technology behind us of them really breaking the molds of what can be done. I mean, I'm excited for this. I'm excited to see a fully electric Hummer and with a range of 350 miles, this thing is fantastic. This Hummer kind of has like a Mars Rover feel vibe to it. And I, I actually like the idea of something more futuristic. The front grille is very sleek, but it also has these very aggressive, modern, wide body fenders on it as well. Coming to the back, I want to show you guys the Multi Pro tailgate. I want to show you guys one of my favorite features about this because it's great for tailgating, going out and having fun with your friends. So if you're standard tailgate, but wait, there's more. So 
So these two panels here will also be an option to have speakers there. So it is the perfect tailgating Hummer, pun intended with the tailgate. So I have a little bit of a fun fact about myself that a lot of you guys don't know. When I was younger, I would competitively travel the US as a rock climber. So for me, you know, I love the idea of having a vehicle that is off-road capable and super comfortable doing so. And on top of that, just looking around, seeing everything that went into creating this is fantastic. If you look around, like even the door here, they have the Sea of Tranquility, which is exactly where on the moon we landed. The dead pedal on the ground is actually Neil Armstrong's footprint. And I just feel like it's very community driven this Hummer. I don't have a lot of experience with trucks. A lot of my experience comes from my friend Sean's trucks, Tundra, but this is something that I could really see myself liking. I feel like there is a lot of cargo space. I have a lot of room in the front. You know, we have a full truck bed in the rear. There's a lot of fun compartments inside, so there is plenty of storage. I could even throw my rock climbing gear behind the seats here if I wanted to go out into the mountains and just climb. And on top of that, you know, I've got room to sleep in the back. I've got a nice little speaker system tailgate party situation happening back there and i have room in the front i just really feel like gm cares about their consumer and i'm not saying other car manufacturers don't but i really just see them as a company that is constantly pushing the envelope and trying to bring you the latest and greatest in technology and this is very disruptive to what they're known for doing in the past but I feel like this is really setting the bar and the standards for what our automotive industry is going to look like in the future and I feel like they did this with us the consumer at home in mind while also giving us the latest and greatest I mean you know we talked about the specs of power just going through this situation sitting in here you know the seats are very comfortable i think the display is very pretty even the infotainment system was made by epic using unreal engines for you guys who don't know at home that's the same software that you run fortnite with i mean comparing this to the cyber truck you guys already know i put my deposit down like a year ago and i haven't heard anything on that but i don't know it's pretty much the same price the starting on this is cheaper than the cyber truck honestly out the door this might be a little cheaper and i can definitely say i'm considering a hummer and i say that because you know back in the day when you talk about hummers you think you know, they're not eco-friendly. You probably don't care much about the environment. They're gas guzzling. But, you know, you look at the year 2020 when this Hummer comes out and it's the complete opposite. You get this because you care about the environment. I find myself struggling a little bit. It's hard to give you guys my thoughts on this and to really compare with what's on the market now because there really isn't a lot. It's so easy to compare the fully electric 2022 Hummer to a 2010 Hummer, which was the last produced, which was also an H3. It's, it's comparing apples to oranges. You know, this is a modern, futuristic, fully electric <laughs> Hummer. There's really nothing on the market right now that I feel I could compare this to other than the Cybertruck, but I mean, let's be honest, the Roadster was supposed to come out two years ago. Who really knows what Elon's going to do with that interest-free loan we all gave him for God knows how long. <laughs> this is really cool. This is really cool to see this innovative technology of what the future of our industry is going to be. And I know I'm getting on a little bit of a ramp and I want to show you guys the rest of this. So let's do a full walk around now of the interior of this Hummer. A very simplistic interior, also very futuristic. Okay, all right, we are officially in the driver's seat. You have a dash display here. You got tire pressure there. I promise you I'm not actually going that fast right now. <laughs> and then you have this in-screen entertainment here. The obvious anxiety with any transition to electrical vehicles is charging and range. 
Well, this bad boy is rated at 350 miles on a single charge. To put that into perspective, that is more than what the gas civilian H1 can do. This truck comes equipped with GM's Super Cruise, which is a fancy name for hands-free driving assist and automatic lane changes. One of the coolest features is their crab mode, which basically is a trick with all the wheel steering to have all four wheels aim the same direction up to 10 degrees. They call it the crab walk, but you know, it's made in Detroit. So I'm thinking that it should probably be called the crib walk. I want to know what the weight is, and I want to know what the tow capacity is, but that's information that they haven't released yet, so uh, trust me, I'm, I'm, I'm pressing and prying a little bit. We're starting to wrap up there. It's definitely a different style of video than what I've done in the past, but I love working with GM, and they gave me the opportunity to give you guys, E-Crew, the first look at the Hummer. And I know there's other videos that are circling right now, but I wanted to share my experience with you, and they gave me the opportunity to do so. So although I know it's a different style of a video, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. It's been a few videos every day in a row now. So we're, we're really switching things up. Comment below if you would like to see me do Vlogmas. I'm not committing to it. It may become a lot of just like vlogging my day than it is showing the progress on a build, I suppose. So this is honestly super cool to see the Hummer. You know, depending on what the tow capacity is, that might be my decision to buy one. I borrow Sean's truck a lot. I think it's about time I just get my own. Thank you guys for watching. GM, thank you for the opportunity. E-Crew, we out here. What the? Bye. <laughs>